Alright guys, welcome to JPT, I'm Carson G and this is Just Playing Tech. And today, we are going to go over some things we need to do in s after we install Slackware. We're going to create a user, we're going to enable Wi-Fi, and we're going to install two software stores called GSlapped and SBOUI. This is everything you need to do after you install s Slackware. It only takes about 30 minutes max probably to do, and we're going to do it. Alright, so here we are on our Slackware desktop, and as you can see down here, we have uh, no Wi-Fi, nothing, no Wi-Fi. So, here's what we're going to do to fix that. I'm going to open a terminal. By the way, this, everything I'm doing on this, I'm doing it on KDE. Um, it will work on XFCE, too. I'm using a Slackware 14.2. You want to make sure you have the latest version of Slackware, which is just that, Slackware 14.2. All right. So we're going to enable Wi-Fi using the simple command. CH. Actually, first. Actually, before I do anything, I you want to make sure you're on the root account. Okay? Make sure you're on root. Don't make your own account. We're going to be on root for now. We're going to make our own account later. Okay? We're going to type in chmod and then plus x and then slash etsy slash rc dot d slash rc dot network manager. All right, make sure that's correct. chmod plus x etsy rc dot d rc dot network manager so we're going to type that in and then we're going to want to reboot and it will be back we'll have hopefully we'll have wi-fi after we're done doing that okay guys we're back so now if we go down here click that little check mark if it's not already clicked you should see the question mark next that little logo down there, you should see that. Um, so we're going to con see. I have all these Wi Fi's here. We're gonna connect to the Wi Fi we want, and then we're going to uh, set up KDE Wallet, which basically you'll just enter a password and it will ask you for that every time. It'll ask you for your KDE Wallet password every time you try to connect to the Wi Fi. So we're just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so now we have K Wallet service up. So we got basic setup and advanced setup. We're just going to do basic setup. And then we're going to do Yes, I wish to use that. And then okay. And then we're going to do classic bullfish encrypted file. Then we're going to create a password. Alright, so our passwords match, and now we're going to click finish. And then after that, you should be able to connect to Wi-Fi no problem. Okay, so now as you can see, we are connected to Wi-Fi down here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install GSlapped and SBOUI real quick. Then after that, we are going to create our user, okay? So we're going to... um have to open Firefox so we're gonna open Firefox this is an old computer so it might take 10 seconds or something so we're gonna go uh, fetch the packages to get G slapped okay and then we're gonna do the same thing with SBOUI now we're gonna install them through the command line which is you, you won't actually have to compile anything it's really easy and I'm going to show you how to do it okay Yeah, that should be up any minute. And now we're also going to open a terminal window. So we're going to need a terminal and a browser window open. 
Okay. So now as you can see, Mo Mozilla Firefox is starting up. It probably took a little longer because I'm screen recording. Um, so now what we're going to do here, we're just going to type in slapped get, which is basically a Slackware implementation of apt get. So, I mean, obviously, it doesn't have everything that app does. It's not, it doesn't have nearly as much stuff as apt does. But, um, as you can see, apt, like, system for Slackware package manage management. So, basically, you'll type in, like, slap to get hyphen i install. Like, hyphen i will mean install. Um, so, yeah, kind of like that. Slap to get hyphen i package name. It doesn't have much though, so that's why we're also going to install SBOUI. So we're going to get our um, package. If you have Slackware 14.2, you do that. If you have Slackware 64-bit 14.2, get that. And if you have Slackware ARM, get that. But I just have regular 32-bit computer here. And now we're going to get the bottom one, July 2016. Okay, now we're going to get that. And then... We're going to save that file, okay? And you know, while we're at it, let's open a new tab. And we're going to install the necessary files for SBOUI. Now, SBOUI is a front end for SBO package, so we're just going to do SBO package. Just like GSLAPT is a front end for SBOUI, SBO package is a front. F sorry, GSLAPT is a front end for slapped get and um SBOUI is a front end for SBO package. So now we're just gonna go to here, type in SBO package and it will just be the first link right there. Alright, so now we're going to go to downloads over here. And now we're just gonna download this first thing right here. Okay, so we're just going to do save. I need to plug in my battery real quick, so I'll get back to you in a minute after I've done that. Alright, got that taken care of. So now we can close out our browser window. And there's a reason we're doing this in root for right now. So again, definitely make sure you're in root. Make sure you downloaded the packages as root. The only user you should have right now is root. Okay, so now we're in our terminal. We're going to do cd. Actually, no, we're just going to type in ls. Okay, now that will show us everything we have. Now we're going to do cd download. Okay, so now we're going to click enter. Now we'll click ls. We're going to type in ls. So we're going to select it. Right click copy and now we're gonna do in first we're gonna do install package slapped get okay and then BAM now we're gonna do now let's um clear now we're gonna type in slapped get hyphen i g slapped now g slapped is kind of like the synaptic package manager but for slapped okay so it's going to do that and then it's going to install it okay now we're going to now after that you should be able to go to your menu and type in g slapped and you got the GSLAP package manager. So it's going to look a bit like this. And it will open. It's basically going to look familiar to the Synaptic package manager. For those of you who are familiar to the Synaptic package manager, which would be on Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Debian or something like that, this will look very familiar to you. All right. 
So yeah, pretty similar to the Synaptic Package Manager. Okay. All right, now you'd want to close out your um, terminal and open it back up. Now we're going to type in CD downloads yet again. LS. And now we would select our SBO package. package. Also, SBO PKG. Now we're going to type install PKG paste. And bam, there we go. Now we're going to type in SBO package. Now it might, it might ask you to create something, so in that case you just press C. Now we're going to go to Utilities. Make sure it's at Slackware 14.2, so just now we can just go back. We already know it's there. And we're going to type in Sync. Okay, and I'll get back to you when that's done. Alright, so that is done. Now you can install whatever you want here. But you'd have to install the dependencies, and we don't want to do that. So I already... In Whoopsie. Let me just go back. I accidentally clicked exit. So I already have these installed, but I'm just going to show you what you need to install. going to type in search. You're going to type in L-I-B-C-O-N-F-I-G. Now basically what we're doing is we're going to install something just like SBO package, but it handles the dependencies for us because we nobody wants to install 15 packages to or like say something like Chromium or VLC. You'd have to install like hundreds of packages to, just to get all the dependencies to work and that would be really annoying. So we're going to do libconfig and now you do process and then you do download, build, install. Just let that go. Then after that, you install it. Okay. So that's not that hard. And now we're going to type in SBOUI, which is the front end that will install the graphical. I meant that will install the, what do you call them? The repositories and, um, dependencies for us that was the word I was looking for dependencies okay so we're gonna click that then you'd click process download build install just like that then wait for it to be done it'll show a ton of command line stuff and then you'll do install okay and that will happen and then you're done once this is finished I'll get back to you when it's finished Just a minute. Okay, so here's SBOUI. See, now you have all this stuff. Pretty much, pretty much anything you can install on Ubuntu or Debian, you'll be able to install through here. So we can go to games. See, we got all that. And it will install it on its own. All we have to do is click that and click install. It's really that easy. So, yeah. Now, last but not least, we're going to create our user, okay? And here's how we're going to do that. We're going to open up a, ter a terminal, again, in root. Now, we are going to type in add user. And we type in the login name. And just click enter here, initial group users. Now, here we'd click up, and then we'd add the group root, okay? And now, um, press enter, press enter, press enter, and then we'll press enter, and we'll enter our full name, and all this other stuff you can enter there if you want. And then we'd create a password.
and there we go now you can log out go back into the kernel and you can yeah you can log out like that and then go log back into your normal account and then there you go you can now I now actually after this it's better for you to start using your normal account then you start using your normal account and you got everything configured good for you thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy that I hope it helped you a lot it really isn't that much to do like I mean sure you switch to Linux sure you have to configure it a little bit but in the end it's so much easier than one configuring Windows if you reinstall it and two it's so like it's a little bit to do but the consequences are great you get a much better desktop usage everything is better with Linux okay so thank you for watching please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time